it, I, it was the worst thing I've ever seen. It was really that bad. It was that bad. It was wor way worse than Superman 64, Cooper. Not even close. I would be happy to do Superman 64 again compared to uh, Home Improvement. Without a doubt. Alright, this is for you guys that have not seen this. This is Contra Revenge of the Red Falcon. This is a Contra game. It's just like regular old Contra, except extremely hardcore to the point of insanity. Is it fun? I, I think it is. I like it. But, uh, boy, it, it, it's something. And it's also a bit rage-inducing. So you want to see me rage a little bit? This, is, this might be the game for you. We did make it to level 5. Which I'm kind of excited about. All right, we, we, I gotta get a plan. You gotta have a plan for everything on this game. You can't just go into it not knowing anything. You have to have a plan. Full house tournament fighter. That's that sounds okay. I'd play that. Found out recently, uh, frustrated where I'm stuck. The entire game took me an hour and a half, but I can't beat those two last bosses. That's normal fable. That's very normal. It's very normal to get stuck there. I got stuck there when I was playing it the first time as well. I think we all have. Yeah, Simon, Ren can be really, really good at these types of games. When he really wants to beat a game this hard, he'll just blast right through it. I wish he'd do a Holy Diver Deathless Run. If I can, I know he easily could. No, like, very few people like Holy Diver besides me, though. All right, these red guys are like among the worst enemies in the game because they just pop out of nowhere and snipe you. All right, we're gonna get spread here, rapid spread. All right, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. We have what we need. We have the technology. Now we just have to keep it. Which is gonna be really difficult to do. <laughs> Okay, there's no time limits in this. I can I can uh, take my time here. Right, those are gonna launch bombs. You gotta basically mine everything here. It's important. And fell sorcerer, welcome in, dude. Thank you for the four months. Appreciate it. Yes, excellent animation there. Wonderful. Nora, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. You're feeling under the weather. Well, you know what? I hope you feel a lot better. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Go get some nice rest and feel better soon. There's not much worse than just not feeling good at all. We all know that. But, uh, have a good rest of your day. And Fell Sorcerer is working and lurking, dude. I appreciate the four months very much. Very kind, dude. Very, very kind. We are just getting started on this run of Contra, uh... Revenge of the Red Falcon, that's the name of this. It's the most hardcore Contra game you'll see. I can't die here, I cannot die here. I mean, I can, but, but we shouldn't. Yeah, we're still on level one for you guys that haven't seen this. This is still level one. Uh, should have backed up. That was not a smart decision, and now spread's gone, and chances of, of beating it go way down. Okay, we'll get spread back at least, though. That was a death that was completely unavoidable. Beat Ninja Gaiden tonight. <laughs> yes! You will beat it. You will beat it. All you guys working on hard games, don't ever give up, because you'll beat them, no matter what they are. I've come close to giving up a few times on certain challenges, but none of people were like, no, you gotta keep working on it. And I was like, well, okay. I didn't think Holy Diver Death was gonna happen. That took 31 attempts. That's by far our longest, uh, like, challenge grind. This might top it, though. This game. This is attempt number two, though, so I, we're not doing terrible. Definitely not terrible. Yes, stay, you stay healthy as well, Norad. You feel better. Thank you so much. Basically, what you want to do here is... Uh, I thought I could jump in the water. That's not water. That was not water. Okay, live and learn. Make sure you should play more dating sims. I don't think, I, I don't think my girlfriend would approve of a dating sim. 
I, I'm going to go out on a limb here, Kane, but I, I don't think she would like that too much. I don't think that's a good plan. Maybe you should stream some dating sims and see what kind of girls you can pick up. Is that going to help me at all? I don't think it is. It's not. It's not. Okay. All right, now what am I going to do? Edge up on him like this? Like that. That's what we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to need more of these guys. I know there's going to be more of them. All right. Something like this? Yeah, it's going to be just like that. This is still level one. This is too long. That's part of the problem with this game is how long it is. I'm not, if we fail at this, I'm not going to try it again right away. We'll move on to something else. But we may come back to this like the end of the stream or something to do another run. I'm not good at grinding the same game like for hours upon end. I get, I kind of need to step back from them for a bit. All right, there's Rapid. That's not, you know what? Laser's not going to help me much here, but we don't really have a choice. We're stuck with it now. Laser's really not very good in this particular ROM hack. I saw the KFC dating game. I saw it. Ellie and Spade were playing it. It was ridiculous. I didn't know such a thing existed upon this world. <laughs> Basically, it's real, though. All right, more rapid, which isn't going to help at all because we've still got laser. Hey, laser's kind of helping a little bit here. That was nice. Uh, Polo, what's up, dude? Polo the Don. Welcome in, dude. Welcome to uh, Contra. Contra Revenge of the Red Falcon. You want a hardcore, you want more Contra and you want it to be harder, then this is the game for you right here. And the laser is doing work. Why can't I keep spread this long? I, every time I get spread, I die right away. Have you played the arcade version of this? Uh, the original arcade Contra, I've seen it when I was a child and never got to play it. So, no, I've not played Contra Arcade, believe it or not. Let me get this instead. This has more radius. Can we get this guy from here? I think we can. But, no, I have not played the uh, arcade version of this. I would like to on screen, though. I've got it on my list. One day we will. I'm seeing if we can reach that guy at the top. Oh, and I can just do it like this. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. This is nice and safe. Ooh, found a safe spot. You know how rare safe spots are in this game? This is one right here. We're going to kill this guy. We're going to kill this guy. We're going to kill him, but I appreciate the follow, Polo. We will play Contra Arcade version on stream at some point, because I'm very cu cu curious as to how it uh, actually plays. I know it's very similar to it's a port of, uh it's the original version, the NES one was a port of it. So yeah, we'll give it a shot at some point. Uh eight months, what's up, Royal? Welcome on in. Eight months already. How is that possible? Cheap shot. Every death in this game's a cheap shot. Every single game. Royal, hope you're having a really nice day, man. I really appreciate those eight months. Good God. Doesn't seem real that, it, that time is passing as fast as it does. This is not going to end well. Alright, that's the kind of dodging we kind of needed right there. Alright, there's a machine gun. That's going to be good. Go 10 gift and gift sub to Orcus. Thank you so much, Go 10, for that kindly gift sub to our pal Orcus Porcus. Dude. Thank you so much. Very appreciative of always, dude. Thank you. I was about eight years old. I'm 38 now. I used to play this all night. Uh, me too, man. Me too. The original Contra, just amazing. It's one of my favorites of all time. It always will be. That's why we're playing this insanity right here. Because we wanted more Contra and we want it to be harder. Orcus, how are you doing today, man? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a great day also, dude. Royals organizing the work shed, and I'm sure that's a very important task for you being a contractor. I can't imagine how much work being a contractor is. Like, one of my friends is, and I, I like never hear from him or see him because he's, he's always working. So, hats off for doing that, that, that type of work. And I just, yeah, I just shot that right off a cliff. That's nice. 
I love that. Orcas, thank you so much for the gifts up to Phoenix. Appreciate it very much, dude. You guys are far too kind, and I am, and I appreciate it more than you guys will ever know, all the support and stuff. It is truly amazing to me that anybody's even, even in my channel. <laughs> this streaming journey for me has been absolutely amazing, and I'm hoping to keep it going for a long, long time, because I've had so much fun making new friends, hanging out with you guys. Boy, it's been good. Doing all right. Thanks. Appreciate you. Appreciate you as well, man. Appreciate you as well. The characters are bigger and a little more animations. I'm looking forward to trying it. Anytime there's like a port of a game that I've never played, now honestly, that version of Contra is the original, the NES one most of us grew up with, was the ported game. And I only saw the original Contra in the arcade in an arcade that was not local to my area. So I never really got to play it saw it once as a kid, I was like, oh, this looks cool, and then later on I played the NES version at a friend's house, and I was like, I gotta buy this game, this is awesome. Right, I guess I'm gonna go this way, I don't really remember. <laughs> There's probably a better way to go than where I'm going right now. Is that gonna be rapid? It is, we need that. We need that, we're gonna back up here. Oh, uh, you're one of the best on this platform, and I'm being honest, Orcus, I really appreciate the kind words, man. I really, really do. There's a lot of awesome streamers out there, and I am happy, all you guys that stream, I'm happy to know all of you, I'm just one person among many here on Twitch. We have an awesome community of people, and I just love hanging out here. I like Nintendo version over the arcade, both are good though. I, it's going to be interesting to compare them. I bet there's going to be things more that I recognize in the arcade version, I'm going to be like, oh, so that's where that idea came from. <laughs> that, that, that's like the feeling I'm going to get from the arcade version. This is not going to end too well here. we got to keep spread. Keeping keep spread here is going to be very, very, very good for clearing out these little trash guys. What is that? Something I don't want to get. Uh oh. How are we not going to pick that up? I don't want that. Like that? Yeah. Alright, good. All right, that could have been a lot worse. <laughs> Xbox 360 Arcade, awesome. I forgot that that was even a thing. I think I have that original Contra game on uh, uh, MAME for an emulator. We'll try it sometime. It's not that bad. Maybe we can even do a Deathless run of it. Being an arcade game, I don't know. It's probably going to be designed to take your quarters like every other arcade game of that time period was. Dude, we got spread, and we're on level two. This is going. I hated level three, though. If I remember, it was very miserable. Ryan Pyro, what's up, man? Welcome on in. Hope you're having an awesome uh, Thursday. Today is Thursday. Yeah, I always forget what day it is. But how's it going, Ryan? Good to see you, dude. We're off to a pretty good start here. I think we've only died like three times or something. That's really good for this game. You start with eight lives, so you do have something to work with here. I guarantee you can beat it in five minutes. Oh, so it's short? Okay. Well, maybe we'll pop it on sometime pretty soon. Maybe a one credit clear is what we need. What's that? Oh my god, I do not want that. Very little room to maneuver here. Look at how tight this is. I get to take two quick shots and then I'm back on the ground. This is gonna, this is gonna die. This is not the end of this level, by the way. I know the, the sensor thing is the large one, but this is not the end of this level. I don't want the laser. I'm good with spread. Spread will help clear crap out. Hated this level as a kid. It was a great idea for a Nintendo game. It was very innovative for its time. Trying to do like a 3D type level for such an old game. They did a pretty nice job setting it up like this. This is why I wanted the spread for this, this kind of crap. These guys are just going to bombard you with grenades endlessly. Not doing a very good job of clearing them out. Right, that's going to work a little bit better. We need to get the corner. The corner is much safer here. It's going good. Waiting for insurance rates on a new car I'm buying. Sounds good, man. What, what kind of car are you getting? Oh, 
oh, I hate these, these rooms right here because the little sensor things just endlessly just, like, don't show up and they respawn and all this other garbage. It's very annoying to do this. Play it safe here. I'm trying to keep spread as long as I possibly can. Being a little more defensive than normal is probably a good idea. Way too close, but we survived, and that's what matters. We are, I think we're ahead on lives right now than what I actually started with. Hyundai Elantra GLS. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. I've got a Honda Accord. That's my car. I usually go with Hondas. Probably get a Honda Civic or something for my next car. I like fuel efficiency. That's what I go for, efficiency. Is it fuel efficient? Does it break? Does it not break down? Then that's what I'm buying. And that is not a common theme here in Alabama. Everybody wants the biggest truck they can get their hands on for eighty thousand bucks. It runs on like two miles per gallon. Why they want that to drive to the grocery store is beyond me. But I got better things to spend my money on than that. I, I, I don't know what the line of thinking is here. For the overhead levels and super C to these corridor levels, I have I kind of Neff, I kind of like those levels in super C. I don't mind them at all, but the ones in like the Contra Three that I've seen played that I haven't really played myself, those look annoying more so than fun. But the super C ones do look really good. 2022 Honda Accord looks nice. Yeah, it's, I either go with that or a Civic, one of the two. Uh, the only way I know what it. Uh, by who's streaming that day? Uh, you know what, Vanilla? It's kind of getting to that point for me as well about what day it is. It's based on who's streaming. Or am I streaming or not? If I'm not streaming, I'm working. Then it's not a good day. <laughs> it's a work day. Oh, this is going to be really tight here. Okay. I, I'm kind of safe over here. All right. I remember getting in this spot. Our, our, a lot of our, we spend a lot of, a lot of our uh, friends here we spend a lot of time on Twitch, which is really cool. We can be social and have friends again without actually having to go out, which is cool. That, that's been my favorite part of being on Twitch is making all these new friends that I'm going to have for like a long, long time throughout my life. It's been amazing. Spirit Buddy, what's going on, man? Welcome in. I think you were already here, and I was, once again, I was complaining about something and missed you coming in. Let's get you, I think I've, the, I don't know if the shout-out caught you or not, but it doesn't matter. You're playing another Bubsy game. Dude, I'm worried about you. I really am. <laughs> oh, Boot, welcome in as well, dude. Hope you're having a nice day. Welcome on in. Okay, the, the, we got you shouted out. You beat it. And I'm, I'm knowing you, why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised at all? Spirit Buddy's beating all the Bubsy games. The man is insane, and I love it. Uh, the new Civic is ugly, and I say that as someone who owns a super sexy 2018 Honda Civic. If it's ugly, I'm fine with it. I don't care if it looks like a shoebox. Is it efficient? Is the car efficient? Does it uh, use much fuel? If the answer is a yes to both, if the answer is satisfactory on both those questions, I don't care if it's ugly as far ever. I'm buying it. That game is the worst Bubsy game ever. Is it worse than Bubsy 3D? <laughs> That's the question now. Is it worse than that one? I think this thing's attacking me more because I've got spread, I want to say. This is not what happened last time. Look how many things this is firing. Is this game scaling based on the weapon you've got? Is this game pulling a Gradius on me? Tell me it's not. Whatever, it's dead. Worse than Bubsy 3D. Good freaking god. <laughs> oh my god. Now I'm gonna have to look at that game. I'll check your VOD out and see how bad it really is. Dude, we got 10 lives. We got more lives than what we started with. This is awesome. Alright, there's gonna be guys that like spawn really quickly here. I remember this from last time. Mm -hmm. I knew they're around here. Are the other one's over here. It's these cheap shotters. It's these freaking cheap shotters that's gonna cause me to lose this game. I can't do anything about that, and I hate this level too. This is awful. Dude, I'm he's blocking my shots!
All right, well, spread's gone. They can bite his spread. He'll be back later, I hope. All right, I want this guy in the waterfall to die. I want this guy in the waterfall to die. He's gonna shoot at me. I was wondering if this is live or a repeat. Definitely a repeat. <laughs> it's definitely a repeat. It, we're not live, uh, Big Mac. Definitely not live. going right here. Can I get that? Ox King, what's up, dude? Welcome on in. Happy to see you playing some Final Fantasy, dude. That's awesome. I, I miss the original Final Fantasy. I haven't played it forever. I'm not... It, you're doing a first playthrough. That's awesome. Welcome on in, dude. But yeah, this is a repeat. This is not happening live. <laughs> All right, what are we doing here? We're killing bad guys and jumping over fire. And that's what we're trying to do. Oh my god, this is not a good situation. That's what we wanted. All right, now we can kill this guy. This level is just absolute stress. Oh, it's great, man. Really enjoying it. I am glad about that, dude. I am glad about that. Because that's one of my favorite RPGs, the original Final Fantasy. It's, it can be unforgiving, though. Did you use the Contra code? I don't think it works in this ROM hack. In fact, I wish it did, and it's if it like would give you no lives. But no, we're not using the code. You start with eight lives in this one. Looking for an opening here. That's the opening we were looking for. Okay. All right, now we gotta look for bad guys because they're gonna snipe me. All right, can I kill that gun from here or do I need to get closer? I think I need to get closer. All right, yeah, see, it, it only can fire at certain angles. So that's really good right there. All right, what is this and do we want it? We do want the barrier. That's really important. All right, grab the barrier. Didn't really want laser, but I guess it's too late to back out of that now. We have the invulnerability. We need to just go. All right, I think that don't have to. Well, that sucks. That sucks. It is what it is. All right, what is this, and do we want this? Spread. We got to get to that. Stellar. What's up, man? Alert for about an hour. I hope your day in the game is going good. Dude, it's going pretty good. I can't complain too much. It's a very, very nasty, vicious level, but we're working our way through it very slowly. Hope you're having a great day, man. It's painful. And welcome in Vance as well. This broadcast from 2017 was pre-recorded to be released this day. Team Fortress stream to follow. Oh my god. Tell me that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I lost spread. Can't keep spread. Maybe we should go to Team Fortress after seeing that happening. I, I just choked spread away. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm going to rage quit now. That was not good at all. That was one of the worst things I've done ever in a Contra game. All right, we might be able to kill this gun from this positioning here. Oh, what happened with Streets of Rage? Welcome back, Allie. Uh, we beat Streets of Rage, max difficulty, one credit clear with Axel. We, we accomplished the mission with Streets of Rage, so all is well. No credit used, max difficulty. The only thing left to do with that now is beat it with Adam. One credit clear, max difficulty. So that'll be our next Streets of Rage challenge. 
Are you kidding me? It's a freaking rock! Well, I didn't get whatever the power-up was. That'll help us here. Man, I'm salty about that. It's a freaking rock! You can see it coming from a mile away and it got me. Yeah, it was a good run at Streets of Rage. Better than I was expecting. Now we have to do it one more time with uh, Adam. Right, we just got a one-up. That's good stuff. Saw G G Game Boy Color, but it's very expensive. Not in good shape. Don't know if it's worth it. Oh my god, Q-Dog. Really? I would pick it up just because it's Ghost and Goblins. How you doing today, Q-Dog? Hope all is well. I just got rocked. I did. <laughs> Unfortunately. These red guys just absolutely suck. Rapid just fell out of the game. I hate these red guys so much. I almost did not make that. Wow, this is just insane. This is insane. Alright, boss fight time. This boss sucks, by the way. If you haven't seen this boss fight, it sucks. D. Farley, welcome in, dude. Hope you're having a nice day. We are working our way through Contra here. Contra, extremely hardcore Contra. <laughs> and there's a death. Cool. Awesome. Alright, now I'm going to switch sides and go over here. I think this would be the smart play. I don't like this boss on regular Contra, much less this nonsense. Oh my god, stop! Stop! I hate this! Where is a safe place? There's not one. Can we kill it from here? Phoenix, what's up, dude? Welcome in. We're working on... Uh, <laughs> We're working on Contra Revenge of the Red Falcon, and that level just absolutely sucks. But we beat it, and we're on to the next level. Nintendo Ghost, what's up, man? Your anger is mighty, but does not compare to the AV Genie. You say, fuck, it's a rock just like the beer roller rock. <laughs> That's true. He should play this. This is, this is a nice, calm game. This is a, a nice, relaxing, calm game. It's not going to hit me, is it? And, dude, thank you very much for the 100 bits, man. Appreciate it, dude. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, it was like 80 or 90 bucks, but online it's 115. Now, Q-Dog, it is a good Ghosts and Goblins game. It's a bit weird compared to the NES version because the knife is, like, not a good weapon in that. But yeah, a Ghosts and Goblins game where the knife isn't a good weapon. Two deaths so quickly. That was awful, I know. Tell me about it, man. That was insanely bad. That was not good. So what do we have now? Almost no lives to beat this level with. I could just go ahead and get myself killed and start this level over. But you guess what you have in this game, guys? Unlimited, you have limited continues. So I'm going to try and beat this level with two lives or whatever. It's not going to happen, but I mean... Stranger things in this world have happened, though, so maybe we will. That boss sucks. This is only our second run of this game, so I don't, like, know the patterns very well or anything. Kind of just winging it. Alright. There's, like, no room. There's no room for anything here. Ooh, I'll take laser. I'll take it. Laser crushes through the, these levels very quickly. They're not good for killing the little men, though. Konami code do anything? I don't think it does. I didn't try it. I guess the next time I like we run out of continues, I'll put it in and see what it does. I don't. I doubt it will do anything. Honestly, I wish they'd put a joke in to where it took all your lives away instead. That would be funny. Mixer, what's up, man? Good to see some crazy Contra. Lord, awesome. Welcome in, dude. Yes, it is good to see some crazy Contra, and we're making some progress. Believe it or not, where this is level four. We're on level four. We haven't used the continue yet, so we're kind of ahead of the curve a little bit compared to the last run. Ooh, this looks terrible. <laughs> this room looks bad. It's got another life, though. 
Lord Awesome, hope all is well today, man. Uh, people should have been here for the Gradius 2 Rage of 20... Oh my god. I did not enjoy Gradius 2 even a little bit. That was one of my least favorite games I've done on screen was Gradius 2. Uh, you know what's not a good weapon? A rock on Friday the 13th. That's one of the worst weapons of all time in any video game. I hate Friday the 13th. I know there's a way to beat it. But as a child, I, that game may as well have been impossible. I was like, there's just no way. No human being can beat this game. Well, there went laser. See you, laser. Nice knowing you had you for about five minutes. Laser's not very good at killing the like little men over down there anyway. Alright, see so if we can drop these little sensors real quick. Not gonna have enough. More, more than likely, we're gonna have to play this level again, but since it's li limited continues, I have to try until we run out of everything. Rapid will be okay, I guess. Why, why not rapid spread? That sure would be nice. That. Friday the 13th is aggravating. Oh my god, I, I hate Friday the 13th on NES. There's like a pattern you can do to, to beat it. And I guess we'll try it at some point. Maybe in, uh, when October rolls around and we do some more horror type games for Halloween, maybe we'll try and figure it out then. I don't really want to play it though. But it, it bothered me as a kid, so I kind of want to get rid of it. You love Friday the 13th? Not me. Passed on Metroid Zero Mission. Uh, do I want bad, but that was $90 loose and $80. Dude, Q Dog, you are collecting all kinds of expensive cards, and I love it. I love it. I wish I had like more room and money to spend on like like some retro cards and stuff. That would be awesome. I would love to own more physical hardware. I've got some of my old stuff from when I was a kid, but I haven't bought anything like retro related in forever. Saw a video about it. Each kid has different abilities. Most of the kids in freaking Friday the 13th were useless. I think the two that were actually good were what was their name? Mark and like Cressy or something. Or Chrissy, you know, something like that. I mean, basically, if those two get killed, you just turn the game off. That's <laughs> what I remember doing as a kid. Oh, this, this is like the worst room in this whole place right here. This is not the room you want to be in. This is not it. What are you guys talking about? What are you guys talking about? I'm missing stuff here. All right, maybe I'm not too far back. Mixer needs his own personal Mike Matei to act as a foil. <laughs> I'm sure some of my raging has been somewhat close to his. He, I've seen him go ballistic a couple of times on stream. That, that was a long time ago. I haven't seen him stream in like, it was like years. Making the attempts instead of just giving up and dying is a great practice. Yeah, when you got limited continues, Crudas, I figured we could use all the practice we could get for this level. Even if we have to play it again, that's fine. Or some miracle happens and we beat it on this run, which, I mean, it's not completely out of the question, just like 90% out of, like 99% out of the question. But who knows? Who knows? It's worth a shot. More lives. How about a one credit clear of this game? That sounds fun. Okay, if you're jumping and they're shooting at you, you're more than likely going to die right there. I think the speed run record for uh, 13 is sub 8 minutes. People doing speed running are just out of this world to me. That's something I could never really do is a speed run. And I like watching a good speed run, but I, I will never attempt to do one on my own in any game like this. Especially when I see somebody like JC doing a speed run. He, like, every frame in the game is important to him because he's going for world records. Like, if he can't get, like, a perfect frame jump, he's, he's going to keep practicing until it does. That, that's the kind of stuff you have to do if you want to be a world record speed runner. Definitely not for me, but, man, hats off to those people that are good at it. I'll stick with my challenges and stuff here. I think that's, that, that's plenty good for me. But speed runners, they're, they're, the, they're the real pros here on Twitch. That was some lucky dodging right there. I don't know how we survived that. I think I've had enough of this room. I don't want to see this room anymore. Can we go to the next room? That'd be great. Not good. 
Not good. Our last life. Our last life. Continue number one gets used up. A no death run of Smash TV? That would be crazy. Smash TV absurdly difficult. We've done it on stream. We've done Smash TV on normal difficulty. And even did loop two of it, which is turbo mode. But uh, a no death run of it, I don't know, uh, that sounds insane. The game was a lot harder than I remembered it being. Come on, couple more shots. This room, man, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong in this room. Okay, well, it's clear. Is this gonna be the boss fight? It is, okay. This is a really, really treacherous boss fight here. It'd be great to beat it and get to the next level, but don't count on any of that stuff. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand right there. This gun's gotta go. This gun has got to go. First continue down, two more continues to work with. Two more continues. Uh, this game makes everyone rage, it does. It does. Mark and Chrissy and those damn children, that's right, I hate that game so much. Jason wasn't as fast as a motorboat, he wouldn't be so bad when you gotta cross the lake. Cheap shots. Cheap shots, a Mike and Mixer show would be fantastic. <laughs> Ask him if he's up for it, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, I'll do it. I was wondering how uh, if I entered a house and saw his life bar, I wouldn't move. Dude, that game was scary as a kid. Friday the 13th, it had the music, it had the atmosphere. That game just scared the life out of you. I was scared of that game as a kid, though. Freaked whenever I ran into Jason. It was designed to be like a horror movie with jump scares and everything. I really think so. And it, and it, it accomplished everything it wanted to accomplish doing that. All right, so what are we doing here? We're back to the beginning again. All right, I'll take the machine gun. We gotta get some weapons. Second boss always gets me on Smash TV. The Scarface thing, I do not like that boss. It's almost impossible to get through that boss without losing at least like four or five lives. There's some ways to manipulate that Scarface boss in Smash TV, but you have to be almost perfect to do it. And you also have to get a lot of luck. That, that's awesome. Luck is part of the strategy. Love that the Cobra logo and the Decepticon logos are... Oh, I do too, Phoenix. It's really cool. The, uh, <laughs> the Transformers logos are in the game as a boss. That's unreal. How did I take a hit there? No! Uh, who's on the Mortal Kombat shirt? I think I'm seeing Scorpion. Yeah, you're seeing Scorpion, you're seeing Goro, Sub-Zero, and Raiden. They are all on the shirt. If I can pull it up just a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Yeah, but all those characters are represented on the shirt. Which is cool. Yeah, I, you know what? I got no room to maneuver here. <laughs> I am in the corner and they're firing a million shots at me. That's ridiculous. What's up with the blue bonus given guys here? What's up, Apperson? How you doing, man? Okay, good. My shout out bot caught you. You like Smash Throg? Dude, Smash TV is a good game. It's just absolutely nasty. It's absolute hell for doing like any type of challenge with it. I'll take the laser. Yeah, I, I love um, any type of... If I can find more retro shirts, I'm going to order them. I've got only got like 10 or something. I want a lot more. See what I can find. Yeah, just finishing up the workday. Sounds good, man. Some of the blue bonus giving guys here. Uh, this is... Uh, Apresent, if you've not tried this, I know you like playing ROM hacks as well. This is Contra Revenge of the Red Falcon, and it is the most hardcore Contra game I've ever played. It is insane. Major, major difficulty. So if you like Contra and you want, uh, want it to be harder, this is for you. 
It's it's crazy. Oh, this crazy room again. Uh oh. I think a guy shows up that'll like blow everything up. Hope all is well for you today, Apperson. Good to see you as always, dude. That's the guy we need to kill. That'll clear everything if I can pick it up. God damn it, dude. God damn it. We can't afford to lose lives. <laughs> we can't afford to lose lives. We can't afford that. And I guess I'll clear out the bottom first. It's not even hitting anything. I'm not using rapid fire or anything, by the way. I'm not using turbo. We're just using standard old controller for it. I'm gonna hit the buttons a million times. Remember going through all the crap fight reptile in Mortal Kombat 1. Yeah, didn't you have to get a double uh, flawless victory and then a fatality or something on the pit level to fight the original reptile, I wanna say? Just something like that. I remember someone did it in the arcade one day, and everybody was like going crazy. They were going, oh my god, there's a green ninja, what the hell is this? I already knew about it because I read about it in a magazine, but like everybody in the arcade was going absolutely crazy. My god, is there, there's enough grenades here. How many grenades do we want here? All of them. Ooh, that was close! I think I need to do a pit fatality to get original reptile. It's just a scorpion reskin. Yep, same model as scorpion. And I think he had both Sub Zero and uh, Scorpion's moves in the original Mortal Kombat. And then Mortal Kombat 2, he got his own move set, which I thought was pretty cool to add him. Dude, this is insane, man. This is insane. Too many deaths. Way too many deaths. All right, how much further? I gotta move here, it's gonna drop grenades on me. There we go. It's gonna be another grenade, guy, we gotta move. It's gonna be nothing but grenade guys on this level, okay. Ah, uh, the golden age when we still had secrets and cheat codes. That's right. Get out your Nintendo power. Get it out. Use it and love it. it was none of that internet stuff. That was still many years away. Of course, it was Nintendo Hotline. That was a thing. That my parents hated and my friends' parents hated because when we get stuck in a game, oh, time for Nintendo Hotline to figure this out. Thank you, Nintendo Hotline, for getting me through Castlevania 2 back in the day. Otherwise, I never would have come close to beating that game. Got stuck on Final Fantasy Legend on the Game Boy as well. Final Fantasy Adventure on the Game Boy as well. There's a, a stupid clue that the game gave you that made no sense and had to call Nintendo Hotline to figure that one out. Alright, it'd be great to move to the middle of the room here. Dude, if we could go back in time, back to arcade days of old, I would be so happy. Those were wonderful days. I'm very lucky to not die right there. Gotta kill those grenade guys a lot faster. Yeah, now we have d d downloadable content for more money. We, oh, we have, you know what's replaced arcades? Microtransactions. That's what we all ask for, right? Microtransactions. Good freaking God. Well, when you look at it away, arcades kind of were like microtransactions. Oh, you want to continue? Put in another quarter. Thing, kind of thing in a way. We just got a one up, and this boss coming up though just sucks. We've never even made it to the boss of the next level. I don't know what that's going to be like. I, I think it's the same boss, except everything's just going to be a lot faster. I want to say, Tsunade played through this game months ago. I remember seeing some of that. This has got to stop. This is just going to stop. Any second now, this room's going to be over. Any second now. <laughs> Wishful thinking, right? 
can't stay alive forever. Dodging has its limits. Yeah, throw more crap at me. Perfect. I don't know how... Oh my god, how many more of these things do we have to kill? At least they can't get me in a corner while I'm hiding. Alright, kill the middle one. This is just absolutely insane. This has got to stop. I wonder if you go too slow. Yeah, I'm wondering, Apperson, if I'm doing this wrong or something, if you have to... If you don't get them all at the same time, then... Okay, maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? Good God, that it's insane. I'm going to stop for one second and let my fingers take a break. Remember Area 51? I used to know that game inside and out, all the hidden rooms and everything. People would be blown away thinking they know the game and I'd activate a secret or something and I'd beat that game on one life. Is Area 51 the rail shooter? You know, what? where you actually like hold the guns and stuff like that? I'm, I'm thinking that was uh, Area 51. Uh, Final Fantasy Legend 1 and the stupid clue was the puzzle where you need to show the old man the battle axe. Uh, that's one of them that, you know what, I ended up getting through that one, Coffee, because I already had the battle axe in my inventory. The one I'm thinking about was on Final Fantasy Adventure, where they, they tell you it's a palm tree and eight. That was the clue, and you had to walk in a figure eight around a palm tree, and my 11-year-old self could not figure that out because it made no sense. I was like, what do you have to do? Hit the palm tree eight times, kill eight enemies on the screen, cast eight magic spells. I did everything but eight. Everything but a figure eight, and Nintendo Hotline got me through that one. Need to shoot the one that respawns first. You're swimming against the current. Okay. I had no idea how that works. I appreciate it. Now we'll do that next time when we have to play this again. Light gun rail shooter. Okay, that's what I was thinking about. That's what I was thinking about. Wait till the next level. Yeah, Fox. I, we were on the next level uh, a couple of days ago, and it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolute terrifying how bad that next level, the ice level. It's death. Alright. There's a death. There's a death. Dude, I can't dodge that. I'm sorry, I cannot dodge that. Dodge all that crap. I'm sorry. I'm not that fast. And there's no safe places. Alright, we have a couple of lives to deal with the Transformers thing. I gotta get more aggressive here, trying to target them instead of just playing defense right here. And I think that might have done a little bit of damage. I didn't hear it. No damage there. Can't stay alive forever. We gotta. Oh, I got one of them. Okay. All right, the level from Absolute Hell is coming up next. It's as far as I've seen into the game as the highest level. I miss light gun games too, as well. Nurse, those, those were fun back in the day. Even something simple like Duck Hunt was fun. I liked it. Die Hard for the PS1? Uh, how did that one play out? Yeah, that was a tricky clue, Chloe. I couldn't figure it out. I was way too... I was just a dumb kid back in the day. I need to train to go to bed earlier for after my vacation, so I'll leave soon. Have a wonderful Friday. Thank you for hanging out, Coffee. I really appreciate it, dude. Friday's right around the corner. Thanks for saying see you another time. Appreciate it, man. You have a wonderful rest of your day, and I really, really appreciate you hanging out. Take care, and I will see you soon. PS1 Die Hard at the airport was a fun shooter. I borrowed it from a friend. Now I'm going to have to look at that, because I, I like those types of rail shooters. That was close. 
this level, guys. This level is absolute insanity. I gotta just anticipate those guys are gonna be there. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Like that. See, if we do that, good things are gonna happen. Already off to a decent start. We don't have all our lives. Don't have all our lives, but it's okay. Try and work through the level. See if we can learn it a bit. That's that's kind of the goal here, is just to learn it. Probably not gonna beat it. This level's way harder than any of the previous other ones. It's not not even close. I guess I should just be happy we made it back to this. Alright, those guys are down. That's good. I do remember bits and pieces of it from my first time playing it the other day. It'll help some. I had no choice right there. Did not have a choice. It puts you into an impossible situation sometimes like that. Duck hunting was good. Also, you used to play Safari Hunt on Master System. More animals to hunt that one. Oh my god, I kind of remember that because I had a friend that had a Master System. So I didn't have one until a little bit later. So I'm not nearly as familiar with the Master System library. I'd like to play more Master System games on screen. We've done a couple. But that's a system I wasn't super familiar with as a kid, so that, that would be a real treat to to know those games some. Um, these red guys, dude. These red guys. They're just gonna they're just gonna end the run. They are gonna end the run. PS1 Die Hard was three games in one. The first was a third person shooter, the second was a rail shooter shooter, and the third was a driving game. Okay, never seen that before. Sounds fun though. It's like they did maybe a, like a better version of Bayou Billy or something. Because remember Bayou Billy tried to be a, a multi-genre game. It, it kind of sucked. That's not one I'm looking forward to playing. I'm just anticipating the worst here. Hey, we got a life back. We're not going to beat this, this level on this run. Die Hard Trilogy is awesome. We'll have to try it at some point. Alright, this we just need to kill really quick. Alright, that's dead. No problem. Why you Billy's the best ever? <laughs> yeah! The best ever if you want if you're trying to find the worst game. I am not looking forward to playing that. I beat Bayou Billy as a kid, dude. That's really impressive. I think I got to the second driving level and I was like, uh, oh, no, no, no more. Done. I'm trying to anticipate where the next bad guy is going to be. I don't care about these little guys. It's the red sniper guys like that that just showed up. Also, you have those guys that are mounted with cannons. I don't want any of that stuff. I'm not going to even shoot it because we have rapid spread and I don't want to risk losing that. Hey, Dr. Chaos. What's up, dude? Welcome in. Welcome to Extremely Hardcore Contra. Uh, we're getting somewhere. We're making a little bit of progress, I want to say. Boy, it's so easy to get like trapped in this game and just have nowhere to go. Kind of like that. <laughs> kind of like that, except that time we survived. How about some more one-ups? More lives? We could beat this level on this attempt. It's not going to happen, but... Oh, nice. We've got... See, spread makes, the, spread makes the world go round here. Yes! If we didn't have spread, we'd be dying like crazy right here, more than likely. Alright, we're gonna do this bar. Yes. This 
is so this is like one of the more stressful games I've ever played. The, the stress levels with this game is off the chart. All right, would you, okay, jumping backward there worked. I took a gamble right there and it paid off. Don't want that. I'm gonna have to try to not pick it up. Do another one of those guys over there. It would help if I knew where everything was. I can pick that up. Be more careful. Gotta be more careful. They're gonna show up at every around every corner. They're lurking. They are lurking around every single corner. I think it was always Egg... Oh, we're talking about Eggman? I have a question. The villain in Sonic back in the day was Dr. Robotnik. These days they call him Eggman. Did I miss something when they change his name? Now, to me, he'll always be Robotnik. Eggman doesn't sound right to me for some reason. It just doesn't. To me, he'll be, he'll never be Eggman to me. I know they call him that and I think most of the new games, but to me, it's always going to be Robotnik. That, that's like asking me to change something that I grew up with. That, that's not going to happen. Ooh, that was close. I jumped there. Spade, what's going on, man? Welcome on in. It was always Eggman, just not here in North America. Okay, that, that makes sense. But to me, it'll always be Robotnik. Even though that might be wrong. <laughs> what's all this stuff? All right, that worked out nicely. That worked out even better. And so did... Oh, my God. Get that spread working. Yes! Dude, anytime you kill a bunch of these red guys, it's a big, big, big deal. They're, the, they're like the worst enemy in this game. Alright. Spade, you gotta try this sometime, man. You, you were playing the original Contra. Well, this is the original Contra, except a very hardcore version of it. I think you would enjoy this as well. You like these kind of games. Hope you're having a great day, dude. Welcome on in. Hope Silent Hill 4 was going well yesterday. I didn't get to see much. I was having to work and alert, unfortunately. Work sucks. I need to just quit my job. <laughs> Who cares about freaking working all day? Let's let's play some games. We got more important fish to fry than work. Let's just have fun on Twitch all day. Those hedgehogs don't like eggs. I must test this. Why, yeah, why Eggman? What is up with that name? What is the significance? That was really close. See, I'm being extra cautious. Ah! <laughs> that was close. Feel you I'm working now? Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. What can we do? Not much. <laughs> I'm not even going to get that. Maybe is that, if that's not barrier, I'm gonna, oh, it's, it, that's going to downgrade my spread. I don't want that. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, at least we still have spread, even though it's not rapid anymore. Really? Really? That's, that's what we call a cheap shot right there. Look how long this level is! <laughs> oh. stuff right there. I don't know how we made it through that. Double. Do we want this? Do we want this freaking laser? I'm picking it up. Let the chips fall where they fall. Terrible idea. This is not a good idea, picking up laser on this level, because I have no rapid fire capabilities. That was a stupid decision. What, what if it worked out, though? I'm going to get a hedgehog and serve it several eggs, each prepared differently, and see what the hedge hedgehog prefers. It's going to just smash the eggs and walk away. That's what's going to happen. Once you make partner, you'll be able to quit your job. I, I doubt it, Royal. I doubt I'll even make partner. <laughs> I, I just don't see it happening. It, it, I mean, come on. It's me. I'm not going to make partner. There's no way. 
I, I just don't see it happening. If it happens, awesome. If not, well, then no surprise. That's that's the way I'm looking at the partner thing. People have been asking me, are you going to make it? I, I don't know. Probably not. That would be the, the safe assumption. Hey, Branka, welcome. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? I saw you playing Heroes of Might and Magic 2 the other day. And, and I couldn't stay because it was like I was just going to bed and you were just getting started. But I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. I played that as a kid so much. Heroes of Might and Magic 2. That was one of my favorite PC games as a child. Well, not really a child. I was like 15 or 16. Dude, that, that was an awesome game. Frank, I hope you're doing well today. Hope all is well. Welcome in, Ellie. How's it going today? Good to see you as well. Hope all is well with you today. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys aren't working too hard. I know it's a work day, but uh, maybe it's not too much. I know we were talking the other day. We were saying we need a four-day work week. What do you guys think? Four-day work week and three days off. God! <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. You, you, can't, you can't dodge that. You can't dodge that. I mean, you just can't. Oh, now we're going to make it to the boss with no lives left. Oh, no. We almost had laser, too. Laser would have been good against this boss. This is a PB, though. It's always amazing to catch your streams. I feel the same, Frank. There's a lot of people's channels I miss out on because of my time, because of the whole time zone crap. And there's so many people I want to watch, and I can't. <laughs> You're one of them. I never get to see Grunt Guru. I never get to see Alex J. Paz. There's just a lot of people that are on like early in the day from my time, from my uh, time that I, I never get to see. It sucks. It's it, it's terrible. <laughs> Uh, exactly. When you hit partner, make sure to start a cool retro stream team. Well, if, if you guys want me to do that, I will. I don't know anything about teams or any of that stuff, but I mean, if, if, if you guys want that, I'll, I will do it. You guys are in control here. Is this going to be the same fight or something different? It's going to be something different. It's different. I can tell it's got an angled attack now. not the same fight. You need to be a partner to form a team. Okay, well if you guys want me to form a team for, for you guys or something, I, I would be happy to do so. Sounds good to me. Whoa! How are we surviving? <laughs> How are we surviving? I don't know. Dude, if this died. If this died, we could do the next level. With all, with an extra continue. This is insane. Yes! Oh my god, no lives left! Oh my god, we've never seen this far in the game. What the hell is this level gonna be like? Oh god, this is insane. Hot Tub Retro Gamer Team. Is that what you want to call it, Spade? Well, we could. <laughs> we could! Need to be a partner to form a team, more job openings, and convince for our people who don't have time to do things during regular business hours. All businesses should be open 24 hours a day. I don't know. Then people have to work all night. That's kind of cruel. I, my dad had to do that all the time uh, when I was a kid growing up. My dad worked a swing shift. <laughs> and he didn't. He always told me when I was growing up, make sure you get a job where you're not working all night and then your you'd, uh, shift switches over the, the next day. Don't do that. I never have, thankfully. But yeah, if you guys want to start a retro uh, team or anything, I, I'll be glad to set it up. If, if I doubt I'll ever make partner, though. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> let's, let's do it like that. Let's do it like that. I, I, I doubt I will make partner. I mean, if, if I do, awesome. But I, I'm, I, that's something I would never, ever, ever expect. By, by the way, we have no lives here. So one death and it's over. But at least maybe we'll get like a look at this level. Maybe we'll learn a thing or two before I die. That'd be great. 
I bet it's gonna be harder than the previous level. Hey, G9 Joe, what's up, man? Thank you for all the GGs, guys. This is as far as we've ever seen in this game, so I I'm excited to have made it this far. We got a good run working. I'm anticipating the worst. <laughs> okay, see, these guys just like pop up out of nowhere. Yeah, like that, see? Ooh, good God, man. <laughs> good God. Dad told me to find something that will grant me time with my family. See, that's a, that's a great... That, that is a great advice right there. That's what you want. I don't have any kids yet. Maybe one day. From what I've heard from other people having kids, maybe it's not a good idea. <laughs> That was a good dodge, a lucky one, but I'll take it. Yeah, looking forward to that TMNT collection, dude. Looking forward to it. Oh, we, oh, screw you, game. Screw you, game. You put spread up there. Look where spread is. That's stupid. That's stupid right there. Celestial, hope you're having a wonderful day. Great to see you also. We're making progress here. I'm happy. I like this game. This is a cruel and unusual game, but I, I like it. Okay, now we're gonna go. Now we're gonna go. 21 Sandwich. What's up, dude? Welcome on in. Yeah, we're, we're doing good. I'm not gonna complain. We still have two continues as well. That's even better. If I run out of continues here, I don't think we're going to... Uh, I don't think we're going to play this again right away. I, I, I do better when I take breaks from games. We might play it later in the stream if there's still time. Like, I don't know if I have time for another run or not. Oh, look at this. Look at this nonsense. Look at this nonsense! This is nonsense! I should have just kept running. Now, we're, now the bombs are blown up into like a spread pattern. That's great. Those red guys just suck. That's the whole problem with this game, is those red guys. They're in insane. Alright, what do they want me to do here? What is this? Is that barrier? No, it's laser. That's not really gonna help. You kinda have to get it. Hey, we killed that guy. They gave me a weapon here that's not gonna help me. That's what they're doing. They did that on purpose. I, I, see, what, I see what's going on here. This is not the weapon you want on this kind of level. So far, this level hasn't been as bad as the ice level. I mean, it's a hard level, but the ice level was... Why, oh, Jesus! <laughs> I don't know how we survived that, and I'm not going to ask. We're just going to keep moving on like nothing happened. Where, how much further to... God! <gasps> Okay. Okay, that was just a warm-up run. Now we have all our lives. Now we have to play really well. Now we have to do good. Really good. We saw some of the level. I'm going to take that as a win. Man, this is cruel. More I am excited about how our progress. I really am. I, I think we could beat this game. We just gotta get better at some of that ice level. That ice level sucks. I think it's harder than this one. From what I've seen of this one so far, the ice level's worse. Of course, we haven't been all the way through this either, so I don't really know what's coming up ahead. Meows! Welcome on in. Hope you're having a great day. Hope all is well with you. Thank you so much for the resub. Has it been three months already? It has. That seems impossible. But welcome on in. Good to see you. Shout out bot didn't get you. And that's okay. I got you covered. I got you covered. There we go. Uh, combining a nonsense and mixer makes for a great watching experience. <laughs> I run into too much nonsense, Vanilla. I'd like a little less nonsense in my life. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? 
There, there's just too darn much nonsense, and I, I don't like it. Why can't things be more fair? I know, because I'm the one choosing all these all these nonsense games. That's part of the problem here. We could always just turn this off and go play some Hello Kitty Island Adventures or something, something, and we would always win at. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe we're playing stuff that's just too hard and frustrating. Yeah, we'll just switch over to some Hello Kitty. No big deal. No big deal. Is that even a real game? Or did I just make pull a game out of my ass or something? I think I just did that. Hey, Wolfmaster, welcome in, dude. How much further? God, yep. <laughs> That's about right, right, Eats Moo? That's about right. Wolfmaster, welcome in, dude. Good to see you, man. Wolfmaster's working on a great challenge as well. He's trying to do Hyperstone Ice Deathless Ninja Turtles. And, uh, yeah, that Technodrome level, that's a fun level, right? <laughs> fun stuff with those freezers and mousers and God knows what else on that level. I, I did not enjoy that level even a little bit. Great! The spread's way up there again. I love it. There's no way to... How do you even get that? I know you can probably die and, like, drop down up there, but I'm not going to waste a life. Driving me nuts? Dude, Wolf, any, anybody's going to get that at you. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're doing good. We're not dying. I like this ROM pack a lot, by the way. I think it's good. It's just very, very, very difficult. Uh, you need to... Wolf, this would be a good one for you as well. You like these kind of insane challenges. You like this ROM hack. Goten gave it a shot, and he can beat it. He just, he just uh, needs to go back to it. Right, Goten? You want... <laughs> there went the machine gun. Boy, it sure was nice having a special weapon for two minutes. Or less. That's okay. We're doing a pea shooter run. It's all about a pea shooter run. Alright, this is where I... That's where I goofed up last time. Probably gonna goof up this time. Alright, I shot this guy from over here last time. There we go. See, we're, we're learning a little bit. A little bit. Meows, it was nice seeing you streaming playing the, uh, Streets of Rage 3. That's cool. You know what? I don't want this. This is the laser. I'm not going to get it. Okay, well, I got it, but we didn't die to the other guy, so I don't really care. <laughs> I'll take it if it preserves a life. That's kind of a trolley spot with that laser because it's not a very good weapon on this level. They're doing that on purpose. That's what these kind of developers do. They, they try and screw you over. It's freaking dodging, dude. This freaking dodging. They're asking too much here. I'm going to wager this is no harder than vanilla. I want you to know all the levels and spawns is just new. It's so much longer, though. That's part of the problem with this one is how much longer it is. There's so many ways to make mistakes with it. Now that is really low right there. That is a low blow right there, putting that guy right there. I'm sorry. That should not be a thing. They know you're going to jump up there to avoid the fire right there, and you're going to jump right into that guy. That's insane. Contra 4? I don't think I've played Contra 4. The newest Contra game I've played is the Super Nintendo and the Genesis ones, if that gives you an idea. I've played Contra 3, the Alien Wars on Super Nintendo. I've never finished it or actually tried to beat it, and we did beat Contra Hardcore a long time ago. And we've done Super C, and we've done... Uh, a regular Contra on NES, a lot, a lot of different challenges with that one, like deathless with different weapons and stuff. It's been a lot of fun. Oh my god. Alright, let's just keep moving forward here. Alright, what terrible things are going to happen here? We're going to get trolled, right? No. Okay, well that was unexpected. I thought something was going to happen there. Might have get to see Little Mixer Rage. Maybe, Glove. Maybe. Good chance of it with this game. High chance of it. Uh-oh. There we go. Good dodge. Glove, how you doing today, man? Hope all is well. So far, it hasn't been like we've used two continues, so... Okay, I'm assuming we go like that. Yeah, we're down two continues. We only have one left, but we've made it fairly deep into the game. I just... That ice level is just absolutely terrible. You can't hit me from here, right? I can hit you. Alright, what is this? Let's see what weapon this is. I'm 
not taking the laser. Quit trying to give it to me. I'll take rapid. Rapid pea shooter will be better than laser here. The spread bombs show up. Contra 3, you have to be on hard to get the real ending. Yeah, we will at some point. We absolutely will. That's going to be a grind in itself, but we'll get there. Absolutely. Uh, man, I started on Contra Arc, and it's a lot harder than the original. Is that a new one that's come out fairly recently? I know there is some new Contra that came out. A lot of people did not like it. Just about done with my work week. Had to rush out a proposal for a grant we only found out about yesterday. Oh, so a deadline. Nothing better than deadlines at work, right? That's what everyone loves, deadlines. You know, it's funny. After I got done with school, I thought, hey, no more deadlines. And then you get to a job, and they bring deadlines right back. That was kind of a welcome to the real world kind of moment. Oh, that's cheap, putting that guy there. But I was... Uh, got lucky surviving that. Gotta get all the endings on hardcore? I do. Absolutely, Wolf. I like hardcore. It's good. We want, I've done two runs of it with Brownie, and that's it. Haven't done anything else. Oh, we got the guy. I was not anticipating that happening. All right, now what? Like this? Is this what they want you to do? That's what they want you to do. Okay. How much longer on this level? This is kind of a long level. They're all long. Oh, are we at the... Ah, you piece of garbage! That is a cheap shot. I'm sorry. Rally, what's up, buddy? Welcome on in. How are you doing today, dude? You were last playing Link's Awakening. I've been told that's really good. Link's Awakening. That's the Game Boy one. Boy, I love cheap shots. I love being hit below the belt. That's what that was right there. Okay. That was trash, yes. <laughs> that was trash. Alright, is this going to be that robot dude? It's going to be that robot dude. Is he any different? I think he's faster. Tsunati was talking about that. He throws more stuff. That's not good. Oh, he's a lot faster. Okay. He is much faster. That's frightening. Okay. We know what we're up against. We know what we're doing. Now that I know he's faster, I can accommodate that. We have to, sometimes you have to learn the hard way. Dude, are you throwing enough crap? Wow. Yes! Yes, sir! That's what I'm talking about. Another level down. We got six lives for stage seven. Let's go. Don't know anything about this level. <laughs> I mean, I know what it's going to be based on, but I don't know what kind of difficulty we're looking at here. Actual God tier. Actual luck tier. <laughs> I appreciate it, Rally, but... Oh, my goodness, it's something. I'm enjoying the game. I think that's one reason we're making some decent progress today is that I like this game. If I like a game, I'm going to do a lot better with it. That's a big jump right there. Okay, we're good. Yeah, it's going to be this kind of level. This level is kind of hard even on the original game. Just blew up the mine car. That's probably something we needed. Rally, hope everything's going well, man. Guys, thank you for all the GGs. Yeah, Allie, it's one big happy, uh, it's, it's, it's one big happy retro family we have here. And I could not be happier. I mean, this is the best decision I've ever made in, like, my online career on being on the internet is to join the retro community on Twitch. It is such a nice group of people. It's amazing. Best online community I could ever imagine. I've been on the internet since 1996. And this is as good as it gets. This is as good. I'd almost lost hope that there was any cool people left on the internet, like for a long time. Whoa! Jesus, that's bad. Okay, well, now we're on the top path. Maybe that'll make it easier, or maybe it will change nothing. You know what? When you du you know what happened here, guys. You know what happened here. See, when you duck in this game, he gets on the ground. He gets on the ground. That makes you a big hitbox. So if you duck near one of these spikes, you're gonna die. That's what just happened right there. 
Alright, so uh, we have uh, more complex spike puzzles here. Not really puzzles, just like patterns to work with. I'm gonna do something like that. Alright. Not too bad. Now this boss I remember Tsunati fighting. It's the same boss as a normal Contra, but you have to kill the guns in the ground that you couldn't kill in the original game. I, I do remember that part. Are you serious? It is family, Spade. It is. It is. I, I like. I talk to you guys more than I talk to like my extended family and stuff. Now I like neglect Facebook. Now I'm like, yeah, who cares? Who cares? It's just a bunch of people talking about what their kids are flushing down the toilet. I don't care. I want to talk to you guys. That was kind of a cheap shot. What is that going to be? What is this going to be above me? You know what this is going to be above me? They're going to stick a spread up there, and they're going to give you a big middle finger. Watch. This is going to be spread. Oh, well, at least we can pick it up now. <laughs> no! Dude, these freaking cheap shots! Oh, you want spread? <laughs> okay, yeah, you can have it, and then you can die half a second later. That's what you can do. What's this gonna be? Oh, no. Oh, no, look at this. Look at this. What in the hell? This looks fun. <laughs> this looks fun. All right. Well, let me try and see if I can. This is the trolliest game I've ever seen. Dude, these deaths are just not fair. You would have to memorize these levels to avoid some of these deaths. All right, let me try and memorize this pattern here so I can see where the opening is. Because there's obviously going to be like probably one way to get through this part. And if you don't get it right, you're going to die instantly. I kind of see it maybe a little bit. we go. Here we- Oh, first try. Alright, I saw the pattern. Not like I got any lives left or anything. We got one life left. Alright, where's the- Yeah, I knew these, these guys were just gonna pop up everywhere. I just gotta start anticipating. Laser and machine gun. I'll take the machine gun. That's good. Lives left, of course. Nothing. Can we be up here? What's the safe path right here? This I'm gonna choose the wrong path. I'm sure one of them's safer than the other. There's no guys there. I was anticipating like a swarm of guys right there. How's this gonna work? It's gonna be like this, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, how's this one work? Alright, just pops up and down real quick. Alright, we're good. We got an extra life! Did I get off this? I have a feeling staying on this is not gonna end well. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, yeah, that wasn't good. Okay, what's this? I got another spread where I can't get it. Yeah, screw you too, game. Screw you too. That's nice. That's wonderful. Alright, well, how's this gonna work? Uh oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, we should be able to just slide right under this. Probably not gonna beat this level on this particular run, but that's fine. Alright, rapid would be nice. All 
please. And please get mowed down. Yeah, what kind of warehouse is this? This is psychotic stuff right here. Right, how is this one going to work? Alright, it's just going to stab a bunch of times. And then maybe we can walk under it when it stops. Yeah, that's not too bad. Alright. This is an Amazon warehouse. <laughs> Casual day in an Amazon warehouse. Can you imagine working there? Oh boy. <laughs> Not really. Alright, good shot on that guy. Oh really? Oh really? Oh really? Is that what you're gonna do to me? Trap me like that? Well that's cool. What is that doing? You want it fire, okay? Oh! Dude, this is insane! Okay, this is gonna be the boss fight. Alright, what you do is you destroy these guns beneath. I remember seeing that happen. In the little bit I've seen this game played, you can destroy these guns beneath, and you have to do that first. Which makes perfect sense. They've, ch they've changed all the boss fights up a little bit. Okay, it's still not going to be that difficult. It's pretty easy, honestly. Fire weapon's actually kind of good. Whoa. Very tight right there. Alright, now can we destroy this? Looks like we can. We're going to the last level, boys. We're going to the last level. Get in. This ride ain't stopping. The lair. Oh, boy. What is this? What kind of hell is this going to be? Take that. Oh, it's gonna be these things? Alright, there's nothing like shooting them though. There's just gonna be a lot of these things throughout the whole level. Thanks for the GG's, guys. We're getting there. We are making progress. Holy crap. How many of these things there are? If I didn't get the pea shooter, I think we're gonna be in kind of trouble. Oh my god. Wow! Just wow. Making this look easy? I don't know, man. I don't know. You need to try it, Spade. You're just getting into Contra. Give it a shot. Oh, wow, that was close. Oh, these things already! Oh, just one, okay. I was about to say, those things better not start like attacking throughout the whole level or something. Gunjack, what's up, man? Welcome in. Oh, wow. Alright, well, we can rip this part now. Assuming it's gonna it's gonna be harder because those white things are showing up. Ah, you can't dodge all that stuff, man. You can't dodge everything. You can dodge some of the some of the stuff some of the time, but not all the stuff all the time. This is insane. Yeah, we got. Yeah, this is gonna be major alien ripoff here. This is everything aliens. Yeah, it pushed me back too when I killed it. That was kind of weird. It doesn't do that in the regular game. Oh, I've got no lives left, by the way. We're spread. What if we got spread? That might make it easier. Those things are so fast. these from here? I kind of can. Okay. Alright, 
Alright, what's that? Machine gun, okay. I am so dead! I am so dead. I am so dead, man. We gotta continue. We gotta continue. Alright, this is for all the marbles. This is what we wanted. We wanted to get here with the continue lives, all that good stuff. So we're going to do it. Nate, what's up, man? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a great day, dude. Get Nate a shout out. Nate's a good dude. Welcome on in. Hope all is well. Thank you for the resub, man. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate for the three months. Awesome to know you, man. We are on the last level of this. We have a chance. Not a great chance. But a chance nonetheless, and that's all I could ask for here. So we kind of know what we're up against now with this level. It's going to be these things from... These things are just constantly attacking. There's no human await enemies, so no more of the sniper guys, I'm assuming. But this is probably going to be worse. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe better? Who knows? Oh, look at that. Look how many of them! Fresh start, you got this? I don't know, man. It depends on how long this level is. These levels are very long. We're off to a decent start here. No deaths yet. Gotta limit our deaths. Limit those mistakes. That's good right there. Kill this guy as quickly as possible. And a uh, Sheeran Pit. What's up, dude? Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Hardcore, um, a very hardcore Contra hack. It's insane, but we are on the last level. We got a great run working. It'll be heartbreaking to lose it here, but don't be surprised if it happens. I'm happy to have made it this far. We beat, we, this is as far as I've ever been. We've never even beaten stage five before. Now we're all the way here to the, the final battle. You need to play Shatterhands fun. There can be so many options for challenge runs. Sounds good. I've heard wonderful things about Shatterhand. And I know you're just getting started with it, man. So I'm, I'm looking... I've got it on my list. I, I've heard nothing but good stuff about that game. So you're saying there's a chance. Lloyd Christmas. That's right. I, I am definitely saying there's a chance here. Not maybe a very good one since I don't know this level very well. But... We, we might have something to work with here. Dude, this has got to die quicker. Can't get stuck anywhere here for very long. Alright, here we were able to kill everything from right here. There's another one. There's one up. That's good. Oh, those things are fast. You can't target them quickly. I did kill that, I thought. I thought I killed that. This part right here sucks. There's, this part sucks. There's way too much stuff. There is way too much stuff here. This is bullshit. can't dodge that many of them. That's a lot of lives that just imploded right there. Really nothing I could have done about that far. Jax, what's going on, man? Welcome on in. How you doing today, dude? Welcome to Insanity. Welcome to Insanity. All those lives, man. All those lives. Can't afford to do that. Oh great, there's going to be 80 more right here. Jax, hope all is well today, man. 
you like hard Contra games, you need to give this one a try. It's nuts. Alright, what's coming up next? See, these things attack at weird angles. That's the problem here, is the angles of these things. Supposed to be Arnold on the box art? I think so. I think so. Pretty sure. There's a guy sitting out on his front steps, kicking his door and yelling. Oh, that, that does not sound like a good situation. Oh, man. Maybe it's a better situation than this level. These things respawn or can we just kill them and be done with it? I don't know. I had a bad feeling about that right there. I can hit this from here, that's good. The levels are very, very long, Jax. They feel like three, uh, about three times longer than the original Contra. At least three times, maybe a little bit longer than that. What was I supposed to do there? Laser. Do you want that? I'm not getting it, I don't think it's gonna help. I need rapid, I need rapid fire capabilities here. Oh, what in the world? There's one of these over there now? Oh, are you kidding me? And these things! Dude, I'm dead. I'm freaking dead. We killed it. Dude, this is just absolutely cool. all these things. There's too many! There's just too many! I guess I shouldn't be, like, frustrated or anything, but... We're having a really good run here, but I think we're so close, man. No, that's not in a position to shoot. Dude, this is some of the most stress I've ever felt in a video game right now. This again? Screw this. Alright, please die. Thank you. Are we near the heart? No. We gotta be near the heart, man. That helped. They give you something to clear the screen. There was nothing there. That's wonderful. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, if I didn't have spread right there, that would have ended tragically. We got spread. We're keeping it. Uh, so much stress with this. We have no continues left, by the way, guys. We have no continues left. I die again, the whole game's over. I'm assuming we go this way. Wow. Well, spread's earning its keep, isn't it? 
Imagine not having spread here. I don't want that. I do want that. Holy crap. Go! Rapid spread. Let's go. Raspy, what's up, dude? What's up, man? Raven, what's up? Oh my god, dude, for you guys just joining us, we're at the end of this insane game. And there's the heart! Oh, the heart can attack you now? What is this? How much health all this crap has? Nothing's dying. Yes. If nothing else happens, we're gonna get this win. Confirms Mixer's God game. Nah, I wouldn't say that, Goten. I wouldn't say that. I've just got a lot of experience in Contra games. How the heart gets spread gun? Good question. It wanted to be like us when we get the spread gun. It was like, dude, if the spread gun's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. <laughs> Look how much health this has. Okay, so what's the trick for this last level? Get the spread and don't die. That kind of applies to everything, but I mean, especially to this level. Dude, guys, if this is where the game really ends, I highly recommend this game. I really like it. I really, really, really like this. This is a really nice contract. It's hard, though. If this is where it ends, there's probably something after this. I didn't see the ending of this, even though people have streamed it. I did not see the ending. Can I just stand and fire? I think I could, but I think more hits are going to connect if I jump. Dude, look how much health this has. This is insane. This would have been enough damage to kill the previous heart like five times over. It's beating faster. Bread hearts a piece. <laughs> So much health. This is unbelievable how much health this has. There it goes. 
There it goes. Is that really the end? Or are we dealing with something else now? We're dealing with something else. We're not dealing with anything else. Holy crap, guys. That was insane. That was insane, and I loved it. We got it. Dang, all these GGs. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was fun. I loved it. King Koopa, what's up, dude? Thanks for the GGs. Welcome on in. You made your way through a jungle, stormed a strategic outpost, scaled a treacherous waterfall, crushed a heavily fortified station, survived the hazards of an ice field, ran through a power plant, avoided the traps of a warehouse, and finally destroyed the Red Falcon Mastermind and all its ugly minions. Will some other unknown evil attack Earth in the future? Is it the end of the Red Falcon? We will never know. But one thing is certain, if you want peace, don't mess with the Contros. And that's our ending. Dude, what a game. Took a... Uh, that was our second run through the game. We did a, a run last week, and this is run number two. So we had to get our feet wet first. And then we had to figure it all out. What a great game, though, man. I love this. Fun, fun. Pea shooter only. Oh, my God. We'll have to try it at some point, Go 10. We'll have to pea shooter only Red Falcon. <laughs> pea shooter only. I saw it. That was incredible. Guys, thank you for all the GGs. I really appreciate it. I, I had fun with this. I think that's one of the reasons we beat it fairly quickly is because I had fun with it. Trax did a nice job. Plabu, thank you, dude. Congratulations. The world is safe now. One CC win. Maybe we could one day.